some seafood that was not for my stomach so I was out yesterday so let's say prayers and I'm gonna tell you why we're gonna be eating the day let's pray Beanie let's do it thank you God the God I'm sorry thank you Father God for being my father my God <clears throat> thank you for this another day may we rejoice and be glad in it I say that let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. And thank you for divine mercy and grace. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, we got, we yesterday, me and Coco Tellum and all the others on the uh, on the chat yesterday at Coco Tellum's uh, uh, live, we was talking about Indian food. So we have Indian food today, y'all. We have the Barani rice. We have samosas. We have tandoori chicken, and we have some butter chicken as well. Let me get this top off, y'all, so I can show you what it looks like. And it is butter chicken is so good, and it all depends on where you get your stuff. You know, this is, look at that. Look at them big chunks of chicken in there. Look, look at that. Man, I can't wait to put this over that rice. Ooh, ooh. And... You can't do it without your garlic naan. They make the best garlic naan in this restaurant. And I'm going to tell you what it is. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Yes, I'm ready to dig it in. So let me tell y'all, I'm going to put the uh, name down in the description box uh, as well with the address and the phone number is in um, Clear Lake City. Uh, not too far from me. It's called Desi's uh, Kitchen Indian Cuisine. And this is what it is, y'all. Can y'all see that? I will put it in the description box as well. Oh, y'all, come on, get it. It's good. I, they, I'm already in a system, honey. Yeah, the only place I go. Yes. Let's dig in. First of all, let's get this, this bread. Mm hmm Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. And y'all, they have the best uh, rice as well. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do... Oh, I got some dipping sauce for um, my samosa as well. I like them both. Just the dipping sauce. They have a green one and a brown one. I like them both. Y'all, this tandoori chicken, look at that. Ooh, yum, yum, give me some. Yum, yum, give me some. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Let's get this, this uh, look at that, y'all. If y'all can just taste this sauce, man, it's so good. The first time that I had Indian food, uh, I was living in a high rise. Uh, and we used to have uh, every third Saturday vendors that come on the brick streets. And I tasted the first time I did the butter chicken with the uh, naan bread. I've been eating it now for oh, over 10 years, y'all. So, yeah. This is good. Oh, my camera that I ordered, y'all. I had to send it back. It wasn't good for me at all. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my goodness. This is good. Um, another thing you can do with your non bread. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. When you dip it in this butter juice, this, but this butter chicken juice, my God, it's so good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Y'all, I ain't even told so how. <laughs> I'm so excited about eating this Indian food. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm toasting to my good health because I was a little ill yesterday. 
and all my new subscribers is coming come on in take a seat bring your kool-aid your water your cocktail your snacks let's chit and chat i have nothing really to talk about but i'm gonna tell you about a song i heard um it's a song that um you know when i tell uh my Alexa to play juke joint music she go way back to the juke joint when they when all the the uh clubs was on the bayou back in the days in the days of our grandfathers and great grandmothers and great grandfathers yeah in the south yeah mississippi alabama And them uh, wood by the bayou. A song came on. Mm, this is so good. And it was. Uh, oh yeah, they flagged me with my birthday video, and so they they it's quiet in a, in about a, a whole three minutes, y'all. Come where I was just playing a song. And they copyrighted me. Mm -hmm. So they blocked it out. And uh, it blocked out my voice as well. But don't stop looking at the video, y'all. That's my birthday video. But uh, look at the song said. Y'all got onions and stuff under here as well. And carrots and stuff. Mm, my God, that's so... Mm, that's just... Mm. Anyway, the song says this, y'all. What would you do if you leave your home for your side piece and the side piece leave you? Hmm. Hmm. That's a topic, ain't it? Let's say that again. What would you do if you left your home for your side piece and then your side piece left you? <laughs> My immediate action is this. Mm. That is so good. Mm -mm -mm. Coco, remember I told you that butter chicken? Okay, let me get let me get you the bite. Take a bite. Mm-hmm. That's butter chicken. You gotta get it. I hope they cook it like they like 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 it's authentic. So my immediate action when I heard that song, I was in awe. And I think like they really wrote a song about the side piece. Well, you know, uh Poke Bear have that uh I have a song too about the side piece. But this one, I'm thinking like what would you do if you leave your home for your side piece and then your side piece leave you? Mm -hmm. My media reaction, that's good for your ass. It's not good to she, she anyway. And what people don't understand is um, when you cheat on your spouse, Even if it's one time. When it comes back to you, you can't handle it. That's so good. Women and men today do that. You know, back in the day, women did it, but it was, you know, we knew how to do it without the whole world knowing but it really was a man thing back in the day because you know even you know if we want to be honest about back in the day a, a lot of fathers our fathers and great grandfathers and grandfathers they had a couple of families um mm -hmm. when i was learning about my grandfather on my dad's side his father he had three families. He had our family. He had the family across the street. And then I learned he had a family around the corner. So 
So imagine how my grandmother felt. And she had 12 children for that man. And then she died having the last child for him who had two other women or wives. I don't know which one, but she had two more families. But I heard that he treated our family the best because we was the first. So, you know, it's nothing new. It's just raggedy as hell now. And the reason I say it's raggedy is because they have songs about it. And, you know, when you listen to the radio when it comes to holidays, they have a discussion about when do the side piece come in? The day before, the day after, and then at nine, who eats, where he eats at in the morning and the night? Do you go to the, you know, the the uh, the Christmas breakfast, the Thanksgiving breakfast, and miss the dinner because you got to be with your family? That's a bunch of bullshit. Wrong. But anyway, that song I had a lot to say. A lot. Say, and I'm thinking, mm hmm. So, what you didn't understand is that this back in the day, it was, y'all, this is so damn good. <laughs> oh, my God. Back in the day, it was the older man. I think back in the older days, well, when he got like 45 or 50, you know, he had to go out in them streets to, to get a young girl to make him feel like he was still worthy or young or whatever it was, whatever the hell they thought processes was back then. Let's get, let's get into this samosa, y'all. Again, that's a samosa. And a lot of times it's filled with veggies, y'all. Our beef. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see, let y'all see. It's veggies and potatoes. Potato and peas, y'all. Look at that. That's good, too. Mm. And it's good. So, anyway. Back in the old days. They wanted to go out and get another woman to make them feel good. You know, make them feel that, you know, re-appreciated, if I guess I can say that. But that's good. But today, um, they just do it. Nobody, where are the morals today? Where is the loyalty? And, and that's going to be my two words. Loyalty and trust today. You know? And what all of us got to realize that whatever you do is going to come back to you. And old men or older men, when you go get that young girl 20 years your junior, you got to understand you're still older. And if she don't fall in love with your ass, guess what she going to do? She really going to leave you for another person. You did it You, you did it to your wife. She's going to do it to you. Or women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they even got chicken lollipops. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's so good. Y'all, y'all know I love onion. And with this tandoori chicken. Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's so good. A wonderful flavor. Mm-hmm. My God. Man, that's so good. Please dip your uh, naan bread and your butter chicken juice. It's so good. Mm. Mm -mm. 
That's delicious, y'all. And you know what? I had found some uh, smoked turkey neck. And I took it out of the freezer last night. And I said, I'm going to cook it today. Well, I got leftovers, so I guess I'll cook them tomorrow when I get back from Mother's birthday party. Mm -hmm. But I'm coming home with some barbecue. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't read freezer, so I'm going to have to cook. You know what? I'm going to put them on in the, in the crock pot today. So... I will be having some smoked turkey necks. And I think I might do some collard greens out of Mother's Garden that she gave me. Um, I don't know what else, y'all. I didn't think that far. But look here. Thank y'all. My subscribers. My new subscribers who are looking at me right now. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That notification bell right on the side. Ding, dong, ding, 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 dong. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. I love reading. And thank you for all the birthday uh, welcomes and, you know, the, the cash out money that I've gotten. And, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, you know, one thing I do celebrate is birthdays. It's a milestone, baby. It's a whole another year that you're living. You know, I don't do other that other stuff, the Valentine stuff and all that. But a birthday is supposed to be celebrated. So, I really had a good one, y'all. Mm -hmm. And yesterday was a low day for me because I wasn't feeling good because that seafood did not agree with my tummy. That's why I like cooking my own seafood, y'all. So, but... I still had a beautiful day, and that cute Jamaican man, oh my God, but when he told, he, I mean, we sat down and we talked, y'all, when I finished eating, I went outside, he found me, but first of all, when he first saw me, I was videotaping, and uh, he said, uh, oh my God, your perfume smell way back, I knew it was you when I got up to you, and I'm thinking like, damn, he didn't open his mouth, I'm, I, done fall, I done fell in love, because you know, I love my Jamaican man, mm -hmm. I do, so, um, at the end of the evening, he found me again as I was sitting out by the waters. And we had a great conversation. Uh, but he was uh, 20 something odd years my junior. And I'm thinking, like, God dang it. I don't do it that young, y'all. I like my young man. Don't get me wrong. But I don't go over 10. <laughs> and if I go if I go over that, it's just a one-night stand. If, if I can even say that, it's just something to play with. <laughs> and you can't do that today because these mother chuckers will cut your ass up. I don't play like that. Unless you tell them, look up, baby, you're going to be gonna be my toy. <laughs> my human toy. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It was good. Um. Uh, Look at y'all. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. It's good. I love y'all. Ain't nothing y'all can do about it. Thank you so much for being with me. Go, go tell them. Go get your Indian food, girl. I'm ready to see you with what you buy. So, love you guys. <laughs>